Greetings. I would like to thank Javier Garcia Martinez for this opportunity to remotely present to you on the Chem Informatics OLCC. This is an international intercollegiate collaborative teaching and learning project, which we've titled this so that you all know that you can participate in this project as we proceed. This project is about ICTs, Information and Communication Technologies. Digital ICTs are changing the fundamental cognitive artifacts used to represent, manipulate, and communicate chemical information in today's society. This impacts both the practice of science and enables new opportunities for education. Few chemistry departments today, especially in primary undergraduate institutions, are prepared to teach the most modern techniques in cheminformatics, chemical information sciences, and information management. Yet these competencies would assist our faculty in their pursuit of, society and of science while also enhancing students' future employment and career prospects. This project leads to two fundamental questions. What is an OLCC and why an OLCC in cheminformatics? And here is our website. Um, this is the development site, olcc.ccce.us. An OLCC stands for Online Chemistry Course, and it's a mode of collaborative curriculum development and delivery enabled by new and evolving ICTs, <coughs> Information and Communication Technologies. Cheminformatics is an area of chemistry profoundly influenced by new and evolving ICTs. They're a natural fit. Okay, an OLCC enables schools to offer a, claw, a, core, a class on a topic for which there may be inadequate faculty expertise. This is done by participating in an intercollegiate course that utilizes online guest lecturers. This is actually a hybrid course model and an OLCC term is a misnomer that carries back to 1996 when we offered the first one. In this model, we have online guest lecturers who are domain experts and resident faculty facilitators who are the instructors of records who meet face-to-face -face with the students two or three times a week. We use the CompCom model for curriculum delivery where modules and teaching and learning objects are presented online and discussed over various forms of social media. The last OLCC was in 2004, and this was in a collaborative effort on chemical hygiene by the ACS Division of Chemical Education and Division of Chemical Health and Safety. Eight schools participated in this project, of which I, UALR was one of them, and I was a faculty facilitator. I would get together with my students twice a week in the classroom, and we would go over activities that were um, run online, as each week we had a different guest lecture as defined by the course syllabus. So, for example, the third week, um, George Wall um, presented on uh, how are we exposed to chemicals, and the fourth week, um, the late Jay Young presented on an introduction to toxicology, and our students, as with the students from other schools that were participating, would get to interact with these experts. Now, there are classroom issues for an OLCC. In the normal classrooms, you have two fundamental types of interactions, teacher-student and student-student. In an OLCC, you have many more. You have lecturer, student, facilitator, student, 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 lecturer, 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 facilitator, and facilitator, facilitator. All of these interactions um, in, in resulting can enhance in teaching and learning. Okay, and the number of interactions depends on both the class size of an individual class in an individual institution and the number of schools offering the OLCC course. Now, each class has a unique set of students, so it has students with unique backgrounds, unique needs, and unique expected outcomes. Therefore, the curriculum content appropriate for one class may indeed be inappropriate for another class. This leads to one of the challenges that we've attempted to um, approach in this project. That is, we need to enable different classes to teach the same course with different content. Our solution is to use ICTs, Information and Communication Technologies, to create an intercollegiate course management system. We use social media and web participatory tools to create curriculum content through lecture facilitator PI mediated interactions. Through these, we generate customized TLOs, teaching and learning objects. We use Web 2.0 content management system and tagging then to enable each class to have a unique web page defined through a dual tag filtration process. The lectures the tags define what material each class teaches each week, while the facilitator, um, excuse me, lecture tags define what material the entire course covers each week, and the facilitator tags define what material each class uses each week. This enables student-student um, student peer level interactions across different universities and colleges if the facilitators tag the same TLO. 
So there are three phases to the project, curriculum content development, curriculum content delivery, and repurposable curriculum content archiving. And we should not be noted that the first two phases both require Web 2.0 um, participatory web tools. So in the curriculum content development phase, lecturers post material on, online and the facilitators comment on the modules. Then with the, with the PIs interacting with the facilitators and the lecturers, we, we derive derivative teaching and learning objects based on the facilitators' comments of the lecturers' original modules. Then the facilitators can tag these TLO modules appropriate to what they feel are the needs for their specific set of students. In the content delivery phase, then, each week a new lecture covers a new topic. Each class has its unique home page based on its facilitators tagging of the TLOs. All classes have the same schedule and the same guest lectures, but the content is tailored to their needs through this tag filtration process. Now, the students and facilitators interact with the lectures via social media, com coupled to a module TLO comment feature, which follows the CompChem 2.0 model. In the archives, we have two major attempts, um, objectives. The first objective is to create a folksonomy across the entire course, utilizing the collective int intellect of lecturers, facilitators, and students. And the second aspect deals with being able to extract cheminformatic content cont tailored to the other areas of chemistry, such as bio, analytical, organic, inorganic, and physical. So, why cheminformatics? I've asked two of my colleagues, Leah McEwen and David Wild, um, to present some, um, some videos that I will attempt to embed into the slideshow. And we're going to start with Leah, who is the librarian at Cornell. And let me see if I can get this to work. My name is Leah McEwen and I am the chemistry librarian at Cornell University where I support access and use of the chemical literature for research and also teach information searching skills. I've contributed to a number of information resources in chemistry including those you see here. Uh, the OLCC project is a great opportunity to blend the best of libraries in informatics. Chemical literacy skills extend naturally into chem informatics techniques that directly impact the success of practicing chemists today. Innovative course format facilitating online experiences with local expertise resonates with my own hybrid education in library science. I'm especially excited about sharing the resources broadly to facilitate educators and students maximizing their lifelong learning skills. Okay, well, thank you, Leah. And now let me see if I can bring in David Wild, who is my co PI from the um, Indiana University Bloomington. Hi, my name is David Wild. I'm an associate professor at Indiana University School of Informatics and Computing and co-PI with Bob Belford on the OLCC. <clears throat> and you can find out more about me at about.me slash DJ Wild, and that's got links to the various things I do. I've been running a chem informatics program here for about a decade, and particularly um, with a lot of online uh, aspects to it. So we've been uh, disseminating chem informatics education as widely as possible at the gradual level. What really excites me about the OLCC is that um, we're doing it not just to a, a small number of, of chem informaticians or uh, budding chem informaticians, but we have a chance to impact on the whole generation of chemistry undergraduates with the informatics techniques that they're going to need um, for working in this you know, highly connected, pervasive technology, big data world that we're evolving into. Um, so I'm very excited about this project. Okay, well, thank you, David. And um, with that, um, we would like to thank you for um, participating, and please contact us if you have any questions um, concerning our project.